The objective of this tutorial is to apply a virtual joystick. So here in the lower right hand corner, there is a virtual joystick that is controlling Charlie the chicken running around. This is part of the flame system and Charlie the chicken is a sprite animation component using a 14 cell animation. The previous tutorial is focused on getting Charlie to move around. This one, the focus is only on the virtual joystick. In the Flame GitHub repository under Flame, so Flame-engine, uh, Flame examples, lib, stories, input, joystick, there's this rather nice uh, example here for a joystick. So let's just follow this and see whether we can add some motion onto our Charlie the Chicken game. Currently, uh, this is how Charlie looks and Charlie it's walking but we can't really control Charlie right now he's just an independent chicken and he's gonna go off the screen so in our uh, flame game here it's using the mixin has draggables And there's a class called Joystick. So nice of the flame people to make a pre-made joystick for us. The class is called Joystick Component. This is pre-built into flame, so nice. And we'll just call ours Joystick. They're using the Dart uh, UI paint system. So, gee, let's just maybe let's just copy what they have. Actually, right? So this joystick component right here, we need to paint to. Let's just copy and paste it in. And we need to add the joystick. Let's, let's see whether Charlie has a joystick now. And Charlie has a pre-built joystick. We just need to hook up Charlie to the joystick so Charlie can move around the screen. In the update, we're gonna comment out this very primitive way of moving Charlie the chicken around and we will use Charlie, uh, Charlie's position maybe we should call him Charlie so Charlie is a sprite component Charlie has a position and we're going to add to the position the relative delta of the joystick relative delta the change in the it's going to be kind of a big number so we'll Let's play it times the speed times dt. dt is from here, so it's 1 60th of a second. Uh, this, it's delta time. And let's see whether we can control Charlie. Can we control Charlie? We can control Charlie. Nice little helper class they added here for the joystick. Very good. So let's see what this relative delta looks like. And we'll move it, try around. Okay. All right, so it's a two position here, X and Y. And we will we'll see whether Charlie has already flipped. Let's see, if I'm calling the Charlie, Charlie chicken. Chicken flipped.
if joystick relative delta zero is less than zero and chicken flipped not chicken flipped then chicken flipped and chicken flipped then chicken flipped equals false and then we'll flip the chicken flip horizontally around center joystick dot relative delta zero is greater than zero and chicken flipped it would be true wait greater than zero yeah it's not flipped and not chicken flipped then we need to flip them Okay, let's see whether we can make Charlie flip. Oh, oh there goes Charlie. Oh, there goes Charlie. Charlie looks pretty good. Okay. Whoa. The artist of the chicken is Pixel Frog. This is the name or the handle of the artist and in addition to pixel adventure 2 which we are we're using right oh let's see pixel adventure uh, 2 he also has pixel adventure right here so we're gonna just gonna grab one of his um one of the images here and I'm going to paste it into GIMP here so that we can maybe use one of these backgrounds. So I'll cut out this portion there. And I'm going to export it and save it into our, our project. So the assets, images, chicken, I'll call this one background. And we'll export it. It's just to get the, the layout. So we have a background and try chicken. So back in main, we can make another sprite component. I'll put it at the top here. So I'll go background equals sprite component. I'll do cascade operator, so it's dot dot sprite equals await load sprite. And it's the name of the file, which is background.png. And we'll make the size be the size of the screen. So 
So the second size is the size of the screen is from flame. Okay. See whether you know Charlie looking like he's playing a game. So this is this is just to uh, kind of get the feel for what the game would be, right? So in order to make these uh, the collision detection on these objects, we'd have to build the map with some type of tile set and place the images on there. So we're just going for the kind of the visual look at it at this stage. I guess this tile set does have these nice fruits which we could make Charlie get if we wanted to in the future.